Okay. Hey nerds, I am here with Neville Page, and um, sir, the eyes are the window to the imagination, and you have created some of the things that have sparked imagination for, for years in science fiction. How has that creativity been important in your, uh, in your life and in just kind of science, education, technology, all of it? Well, it is vital in my life. Um, it's one of those things that I'm asked often, you know, does, does what you do define you? Because you don't want to have your job be the definition of who you are. But I think that creative fields, you can't help but have it be somewhat of a definition of who you are. Because it's such a passionate field. You don't put your pencil down at 5 o'clock, go home, and forget about it. You live, eat, breathe, shower with this stuff. It's, it's with you all the time. And that is why I think the the birth of innovation has to come from a person who's that passionate about it and um, whether I'm good or not is subjective but it's there's no question I'm passionate how important is the portrayal of science of the science uh, engineering and technology in media today it's a very good question because you know historically in science fiction films actual science actual viability of things it, it wasn't as critical because the audience the suspension of disbelief was totally different but audiences us we've gotten smarter in terms of what we know because of media uh, discovery channel etc cetera, etc cetera. so we know a lot more about science or much more savvy and that now puts the onus on the production to and the writers to be a little bit more honest about what it is they're portraying and i love that about it and personally when i'm designing whether it be creatures or costumes my my mantra is always be honest even if we're trying to convey something that's not possible but at least be honest in the core context of it so the great thing about that is we all get to walk away with an awareness and, and real questions when you watch a science fiction film because they're much more plausible today. Yeah, how, how important then is it to, and, and how difficult is it to balance the, the, the art versus the science? Well, I, again, another very good question because there's only so much a designer can do to influence a production to stay true to science when the production's goal sometimes is to entertain and make sure that they create a product for the consumer that works as a product because a film is just that it's a product so do you have to be honest um, or can you fake it and just have it be amusing and entertaining personally I believe by being truly honest what it does for a designer is and a design it forces us to actually be more creative because you have rules real rules to work within and as a result you come up with something that is new and fresh and why because you're subscribing to real physics real laws and you're not just doing something on a whim and I could go on about this for hours about the importance of reality and plausibility because there's a certain set of rules in the universe that we know that define how things can be so in designing an organism for a movie like Avatar if you do something that is just cool and different to you, which is subjective, it may not work for the rest of the audience because they feel that it's wrong. And you have to understand why it feels wrong. And the reason why simply is because the laws of nature define why an animal can have four limbs versus five limbs. You can put a fifth limb on it, but it's something's going to feel wrong about that. So that's where I find that using real science actually affords you the opportunity to create better design. And uh, you're, you're also a, a judge on the great show Face Off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see um, in, 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 the, in the works that, that, that are being done on a weekly basis, as far as the audience knows, mm -hmm. um, do you see uh, the contestants embracing this, that, that they try to um, put the, the kind of science into what they're creating? Some absolutely, some absolutely not. And again, it comes down to two things. One, which is just your personal affinity for wanting to embrace that, or even just knowledge of it, so how important is it to a design. But the second, which is very real, both for them and for me working on a production, is how much time do you have? Because if you are only given two and a half days like they are, 
you kind of got to go into the toolbox of what's available to you because you can't go online that's not available to them. They can't research much except for what's been given to them. So it's a very limited palette, if you will, of what they can use. So from that standpoint, then you kind of just have to do what you know and what feels right. And sometimes you land on something that works and sometimes not at all. Well, uh, thank you so much. If there's one last thing you could say to uh, people watching to encourage them to get into science, what would it be? I would say that the by studying science and understanding the physical world around you, what it does is it empowers you to actually be creative. It's an enabling effort. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you.